All right, so we're gonna be doing a couple things in today's video. First thing we're gonna check out is what do you actually get inside of a Conquer crate, all right? So we're gonna check out what the rewards were for Cycle 2 Season 5. Season 6 has begun. Best of luck to those of you guys. Uh, they're gonna be ranking up this season. Uh, let me know what your plans are down in the comment section. I, did have to rec I had to record this on my phone and I wasn't at my PC. So anyway, let's go ahead and check this out. Here we go. Oh, and we are gonna be checking out the Royal Pass as well. And for those of you guys wondering, I know some of you are gonna be sad, um, but we don't have a face cam at, at the moment. All right, we will for the next video though. All right, so here we go. Cycle two, season six, crate. Um, we did make, like, like I said, we did make it to conquer. It was definitely a grind um last season but a fun one i do have a, a video coming up my next video actually which is about the change in the points so make sure you guys stay tuned for that so let's take a look is it worth it lord black trying to team up we actually this is back to the future we actually did play uh, about four or five games to kick off the season we are ranking to conquer this season as well all right so let's take a quick look at the rewards what do you guys think is this enough is this enough for the countless hours, days, weeks of grinding for these rewards. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? What are we looking at? We're looking at a name tag, right? Conquer name tag. Pretty cool. You know, add to the inventory. We have the Conquer title. I did. I do miss seeing the titles in the lobby before you take off in the plane. I do really, really miss that. Um, because this was always a flex, you know, depending, you know, what kind of title you had. Um, the, and then you have the entrance animation right when you're invited into someone's lobby or you join someone's lobby maybe we'll do that before this video ends see what it looks like and then these coins i don't think i've ever bought a single thing using these season reward shop coins uh, i'm not sure if you guys have i'm kind of anti the season coins because you can buy season one and season two skins look i have 8800 is that considered a lot season tokens let me know is that considered a lot 8,800. All right, so squads was crowned two. Tried to get to ace, just ran out of time. There's a look at F. Uh, no, no, that's our current season. And this, just so you guys know, there's a little controversy surrounding the, you know, was the diamond reward going to be a QBU? Um, there was like patch notes or a leak that it was. No, I told you guys, I, I had the leaks. MG3, first MG3 skin, and these are all free rewards that you get. Let now what we're gonna now now one thing I would like to say is when it comes to the rewards, I would really like something similar to this. One thing that my clan is gonna be doing this season, it we were so close. Last season we were ranked 102 in the overall season stats, right? Now I know it's only the first day. We're currently ranked 29. And keep in mind, fam, these are the global leaderboards. Global. Um, but yeah, we're currently ranked 29. We definitely have a lot of people grinding, a lot of people excited about this new season. Now, what I think would be super cool that they should do, in case you guys don't, a lot of people don't know this, but when you finish the season top 100, for 60 days, you get a special skin. And this is the old, this was, this is probably one of, the rarest skins in the entire game, considering this cannot be bought. The only way you can earn this is if you and your clan make it top 100. So what I think would be really awesome, going back to the rewards thing with Conquer, what they should truly do is make it to where you get a skin that you get to wear for the next season, showing that you were Conquer, right? How cool would that be? And they could do it something like that too, where they just make it where it lasts 60 days. How cool would that be? Uh, and give people even more of a reason to rank. And you truly get to kind of flex, not just in the lobby with a title or an entrance. You actually get to wear the skin in your matches, uh, you know, for the for the, for the the following season. Let me know what you guys think of that idea. Uh, maybe, maybe we can run it by Tencent. Okay, so what we're going to do now, we're going to check out the RP. So I did see a quick, I don't know what the skins look like, but I do know, I believe you can select level 50 you can pick which one you want. So other than that, I see nothing. This is called Hidden Hunters. Oh, we're getting a little Season 9 vibe going on. Uh, where you have like the ninja, um, like, or like kind of like samurai theme. Here we have uh, um, 
Fantatech UMP45. That thing actually looks pretty cool. Biotech M16. It makes me wonder which one of these are in the past. Which one of these do you have to play the little motorcycle game in order to get? So what I am going to do this season, we are going to give away a bunch of these. You guys can go ahead and check out my Twitter uh, for more info on that. Um, what I am going to do, though, I want to rank up my pass like regular. You know what I mean? More like, um, I shouldn't say free to play because it's not free. You know, it's 900 UC. But I'm not going to max it out. I'm not going to go all the way to the end. I want to do the missions and I want to kind of grind it out and see, kind of see what that's like. Because I've been maxing these things out you know, forever now. So anyway, let's go ahead and check out some of these skins. We have the ultimate trendsetter set. I'll be the judge if this skin is a trendsetter. Here is the, you know what? It's honestly not bad, especially keep in mind, not everybody has a decked out, you know, fully max loot crate Scar L. But for people that are new to the game or people that don't have a cool gun skin, this one is not bad at all. The Electro Tech Scar L, kind of getting Mad Max futuristic you know mission ignition vibes um going on here's the ultimate trendsetter cover uh cover doesn't look too bad here is the the mask and here are some of the other rewards definitely going to need these even though i actually have 20 so maybe i won't but with the point system changing we might in fact need those cards now um come this season all right let's go over some of these rewards Say what you want. I'll, I'll be honest with you guys. Say what you want. I actually miss the level 100 pass. I miss that pass that you grinded eight weeks to max out. Um, hopefully, they bring it back. They brought in back a lot of other old stuff. It's almost like they're, it's almost like Tencent's redoing everything they've done. Like everything was cool, then they changed it. Saw people didn't like it, and then they go back. So that's kind of like the vibes I'm getting. There's honestly though, honestly, the Scarrell looks really sick. I like like the wires and just kind of like the almost like mad scientist. I don't know. There's like craziness going on and I really like it. The skin, I'm going to give the skin a one. That skin's going to get a one from me. I don't like it at all. You probably won't see many people wearing it. Oh, we do have a uh, helmet though. The ultimate trend. So we have an entire set, kind of a matching set. I don't like the helmet though. Um... The plane, not, not, nothing's really standing out. Nothing's standing out at all yet. So here you have the armed raider set. I don't know. I just, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. The only way anyone would wear any of these skins, and it's no knock on anybody, but if it'd be with someone was like brand new to the game and they've never played the game before and they go ahead and pick up the raw pass, I could see, yeah, you know, they'd wear this. But other than that, like, you're just not. Am I missing anything else? Armed Raider cover. Um, We do have a Sinus, Sinus Flame Molotov cocktail. Let's see. Airplane is super meh. Okay, here's a look at an Uzi skin. Fruit Feast um, Uzi. <laughs> Fruit Feast. Okay, so here is the M6. I already, I already know. The the UMP, because it's so freaking OP now, is going to be in that um, thing with the motorcycle. Biotech M16. I actually don't mind it. Like, I kind of like stuff like this. Just super random. You know, kind of colorful. I've always liked kind of like the post-apocalyptic style stuff. and I don't know. I kind of get those vibes on these guns right here. Um... So the entire pass, except the M16 and the Scar L, have not been good. But it looks like we have a him and hers where we can select. You guys, a lot of you OGs watching, you guys know out there. Um, this was a huge deal back in the day. It's happened, what, three, maybe four times. You could pick what you want. Um, definitely, I'm gonna go, I would go with the, pure, the Purity Defender set. Um, and then here's like the, like the girl one, I guess. Let's take a look. Let's see what these rewards are. Let's see. What do we have? Oh, so all you can all, okay. So usually the skin in the Royal Adventure, the skin is just the other one. So if you pick the one that you pick, you can go ahead and pick up the other one with 10, 
Oh no, that was a. T oh wow, I was about to say ten thousand. So a thousand of those crates is actually quite a bit. And oh, the cover doesn't even come with it. Dang, gypped us. Fury Defender Mask. So the whole set. So here's the rest of the set. The UMP probably the coolest thing. Doesn't look bad, dude. Got the little tassels. The UMP looks pretty cool. And everything else, I'll probably pick up the paint. Very super, super lackluster pass. Probably, wow, I don't know. Maybe, I don't want to be harsh, but I want to say that might be one of the worst Royal Passes I think I've ever seen for month 11, which is interesting considering the last pass was so good with the Warframe collab. Like, I actually remember it, you know? So here's another UMP. Damn, they're really drowning us with UMPs. I love it. The Cuddly Croc UMP. That is actually cool. And that one you have to pay 180 UC for. Um, and those are free. So not bad at all. Wow. Yeah, definitely worst Royal Pass I've ever seen. Oh, let me see if I can get into someone's. Let me see if I can get into someone's lobby. Hang on. There we go. We got Thabdo coming in with the invite. And, bro, where's my Conquer? Was that the Conquer invite? Bro, I'm telling you. They need, they definitely need to figure out what they need to do. The Conquer rewards aren't it. But I really, really hope that you guys enjoy this video. Drop a drop a like if you enjoyed it. Like I said, if you want a chance to win one of 10 Royal Passes, make sure you guys go ahead and check me out on Twitter. Don't worry, you will see the tweet. Um, but yeah, and also check out, I'm also uploading daily videos over on Facebook. All my links to all my socials down in the description. But until the very next one, this has been Riggs from Riggs Gaming.